going on guys welcome back to the channel giving it today with another video for you in the background just quick you are watching a couple of highlight reels from black ops 3 just playing some hardcore tdm and i tell you this is one thing that i will always miss theater mode is just so much fun it makes it easy just to clip your gameplays and get a couple of gameplays in from a couple of matches really nicely chopped down it just makes it a lot easier um, just from a point of view of, of uploading it's then it doesn't use up as much memory and rendering it doesn't take as long either which is always a good thing now I'm probably a bit late to the party on this as is usually the case with me but there's a couple of things that I wanted to to have a little bit of a chat with you about now obviously everybody is aware of the YouTube ad boycott that's that's going on and the way that people are losing money left right and center and people are begging for people to go to their new patrons people are setting up patreons and bits and pieces and stuff like that and i kind of wanted to see and sort of think of how i feel about it now from a point of view of of me doing youtube i make no money from this whatsoever at all literally no money whatsoever at all i do it for the pure enjoyment of editing gameplay from improving my skills as an editor um and I feel like sometimes I've got bits and pieces that I want to talk about and, and share in my life from a point of view of some of the vlogs that I do and things like that. That's why I do that, it's the enjoyment, it's almost like a chronological thing of my life, that's the right kind of way of saying it. But it just, I found it really interesting the way that some people have reacted to doing this. You've got Merc Music who is now doing, in inverted commas, family friendly videos, so starting to go back to Minecraft, doing Roblox doing more vlogs on his guitars and stuff and bits and pieces and then you've got somebody like Philip DeFranco who is sort of setting up a Patreon and that dude made $50,000 in one month from his Patreon. Now when you look at Philip DeFranco he has millions of subscribers. The dude is a multi-millionaire, there is no two ways about it. He is a multi-millionaire. What has he done with his money? How is he, I don't, is he invested it poorly or, or I don't grasp, does he not have a business manager that kind of gives him ideas on the way to do that? I think it's slightly asinine that you've got these big YouTubers now that are setting up Patreons and requesting people to, to give them money when they've got millions or they should have millions in the bank I don't quite understand the way that it goes and this just goes back to that thing that I always say when people have asked me about well how do you get into YouTube and what do you do to make your channel grow when you do it in the first instance don't do it for money with thinking that I'm gonna make a career out of this because you won't you, you just won't it's a select few that manage to do it and a select few and it usually comes from people that are grouping together with other youtubers that have a group of people and everybody kind of watches all of their channels and it makes their channels grow and everything and stuff like that do it for the love of it do it for the enjoyment do it for creating interesting content that's why you should do this do it because you think that you've got something to say that is slightly different. Never look at YouTube as a job, look at it as a hobby. Look at it as you're starting something and if you get subscribers, great. If you get lots of views, great. I'm not going to lie, it bums me out when I don't get a lot of people watching my videos. But what it does teach me is, is maybe that might not be quite the right thing to put up and maybe just change it up a little bit. The funny thing is, is yet again, I did say that it was going to start forcing YouTubers to maybe look at the type of content that they bring out and and just changing the way that they do stuff I still maintain I am so happy that I don't just play one game that I haven't just based my channel around one game and I like to think or at least I would hope that I bring a variety of content for people that watch my channel things like my vlogs things like my gameplays things like rage charges all that kind of stuff that I do little bits and pieces of different things that a varying amount of people are going to enjoy and that's the way that you should look at YouTube in all honesty and if I'm honest I think it's disgusting that somebody like Philip DeFranco is asking for a patreon because it's kids that subscribe to it and kids that give him money kids that are using mummy and daddy's credit card to do that and I just think it's wrong and you need better money management if you've got millions of subscribers and millions of views and you're using Patreon to try and get yourself some more money. Now the other thing that I wanted to talk about obviously, and this is just going to be quick, about the fact that obviously it kind of relates to the YouTube advertising thing. Because of the fact that YouTube is 
trying to change the way it does the adverts and everything that COD is going to no longer be family friendly because it's a representation of realistic world war events and it's just like you think well this is slightly bizarre because realistically what really blew YouTube up was COD was COD gameplay was people doing the quick scoping was people doing the troll videos in COD was people doing the how-to videos and the in-depth views and all that kind of stuff and it's just it amazes I don't I don't know if it's going to get better or if it's going to change but for me it doesn't really make very much difference because I make videos for enjoyment purposes and to try and get better at, at a hobby for people that this is a serious income for them this is a bit weird because they're going to have to do something that the people that are subscribed to them might not necessarily watch them for anymore. So it's going to be interesting to see how that flows out. I think it's a dumb move, but pff, what are you going to do? You can't adapt and overcome. That is the one thing that I do like to say, ladies and gentlemen. Just adapt and overcome. Try and change it up a little bit. Go in a different lane. I don't know. But it just seems very, very short-sighted of YouTube to be doing this now and at this time. But pff, it is what it is. You just got to shrug your shoulders and move on with it. That's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to my channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And we out of here. Peace.